Tonight, KHOU 11 investigates romance scams. Criminals hook people searching for love online and then leave them broke and brokenhearted. Yeah, the FBI says people were taken for $230 million. That's not a typo. Last year alone, Tiffany Craig started investigating this problem after two women asked for her help. Tiffany? Guys, the two women weren't looking for help for themselves, but for their nephew. It turns out he was in over his head after falling in love online, and it was all just a scam. Lots of money, a beautiful woman, and a promising future. That's what keeps Greg Davis going. I met the girl on Match.com. And she's a knockout from Chicago. Says her name's Malachi, but we don't know for sure, so we're not showing her face. She seems just as smitten with him. She pursued me too, so it was like, I thought, oh, okay, this is it, this is how it works. Their online romance quickly graduates to emails, phone calls, and oh, so many revealing photographs. Eventually, something else pops up in Greg's email, a will. St. Malachi has inheritance money overseas. She just needs him to front some cash for taxes and shipping. Increments of 5,000, 10,000, 8,000 at a time. By the time we talk to Greg, he's been sending Malachi money for two years. These people are very good at what they do. Sergeant Josh Novitz is a certified scam examiner with the Harris County Sheriff's Office. He's seen plenty of these cases known as the romance scam. They put a, a million hooks in the water and all they have to do is catch a couple to make it profitable for them. And they profit from us big time. In 2016, just here in Texas, more than a thousand people reported the scam to the FBI. Their loss? more than $16 million. In Greg's case, so he, he drains his retirement, maxes out credit cards, and takes out more than a dozen payday loans. His loss is jaw-dropping. <laughs> um, probably 70. $70,000? Maybe 80, close to 80. And don't forget, they still haven't met. So a few weeks ago, he asked for proof that the inheritance is real and gets this video. Greg, how are you doing? Oh. A man we never see shows a stash of cash with Greg's name written all over it, literally. I looked at it and I took a $100 bill out of my pocket and I put it down I said, that's not even, that's not even close to being like a currency. <laughs> and so that's what I knew. The whole thing was all a mess. You laugh so you don't cry? Yeah. I do. Nearly $80,000 later, Greg finally realizes he's been scammed. This is really hard for you, isn't it? Yeah, because I feel kind of stupid. As for that mystery woman, she could be anyone, anywhere. But the images match what we find on a Facebook page for a Colombian porn star. Make sure you actually face to face with that person you, you're supposed to be dealing with because the internet dating thing, you don't know what you're getting. Even after calling out the imposters, they try one last time. That same woman holds up a personal message for Greg, trying to squeeze a little more out of the man who has nothing left. So the last picture is photoshopped in that story. I know this because I actually found the original. All I did was a reverse image search online and the fake one is on the left and the real one is on the right. Now, if you don't know how to do this, learn. Go to this story on khou.com and we'll show you how to do it because it can help you in a number of different ways. As for Greg though, he wants everybody to know that he's back up on his feet and he's Good. going to be okay and he has absolutely learned from this. I'm so glad he's going to be okay, mm -hmm. but please, five ten thousand dollar increments for somebody you've not met? Right. Yeah. Come on, Learn man. from this. Ugh. Learn from this. Okay, I'm not going to say anymore. A lot anymore. to learn, that's for sure. Thank Thanks you for so sharing. Much. Very important.